Welcome everyone back to the Crimson 15 Podcast. I'm your host, Crimson 10. David TPCA. Day 454. Be sure to check us out over on Twitter, at C15 Podcast. Join the discussion over on Discord, link in the description below. And if you're enjoying the videos, be sure to sub, like, share, and hit that bell for notifications. There's a trailer for uh, a Gundam Requiem of Vengeance, Requiem of a Dream. That's an <laughs> amazing movie, but it's very dark. Yeah. Um, It's CGI. I do like it, and I do not like it, but I like it. Right, because there was there was weird moments where it it looked like really cool, and then there's some moments where you see the CGI like, oh, I wish that was a real actor. Uh, uh, Yeah, yeah. Because like when he's like looking at the watch and stuff, they're like, oh, that's that's so cool. I also see the Xeon symbols and the red wolves and stuff, and the tanks going through the city. Uh, When you see the tanks like chasing after the cows, that looked really bad. Yeah, that looked really bad. It just remember the the that Gundam game on the Dreamcast. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) kind of feels. feels. Yeah, but I love Gundam. Yes, I, I, I love, love Gundam. I love my Gundam more on the serious side. And that's what I liked about they did the, the 79, yeah. which is the more serious, like we're having like Eighth realistic MST, theme. Uh, Stardust memories. memories. Uh, stuff like that. And less Gundam Seed. Yes. And Gundam whatever the new ones are, where it's like there's a lot of like goofiness and like... Silliness. A lot of silliness and a lot of girls just... But boobies, my goodness. Yes, it's just Gundam Seed has got the jiggles, the jiggles, the jiggle, jiggle. Yeah, and this thing is in the original Gundam. Yeah, there was like little moments like that, but it wasn't. It's more about how war is awful and it's terrible, and oh, look at these young heroes, but it really like, ruins them. Yeah, it makes them uh, hardened soldiers, very young age, terrible, and it ruins you. Yeah, um, yeah. So it's very sad, uh, and that's why I kind of like my Gundam was that bittersweet. Like, oh, yeah, it's fun. I'm in a big robot. But, yeah, people die. People get ripped yeah. up. and You go into a village and, you, and you're like, oh, you saved the day. But then uh, 500,000 people were slaughtered in the battle. Right. Or did you save the day? Right. Or, you, <laughs> or you're or you a big mech and you're fighting the city, but the city's demolished. Yeah, you're so, fighting for burnt embers. Yeah. Um, do we see, we see like a red Zaku. Right, which is, I'm, I'm assuming... If, that's not Char, but I'm like, Char is the only one that really had the red comet. And that's just, then let's one. all just say it's pink. <laughs> the homeboy rocking the pink. And I love it. It's the red comet. Okay. <laughs> I do like how the fact that they show like the first gun is like, oh my God, it's evil. Yeah. Like, because we're, we're seeing it from like, the, the, the Zeon. it's like Zeonic front. Yes. Seeing it from their angle of like, oh my gosh, like, yeah. So, so I'm assuming that is um, not the prototypes. So it's not the original Gundam, but when they made the first Gundam, the, they didn't have enough Gundanium, so they had to make like these mass-produced ones, the MS-8, you know, 8th yeah, MS-Team. This feels like the Zion version of, of the 8th MS-Team. MS team. Yes, where they're probably going there. I don't know if it's on Earth. I don't know if it's in a colony, but I think it might be Earth. Um, if I had to guess, maybe this was the push when um, the United uh, the Federation pushed back and got them out of California, oddly enough. Uh, here's the thing. I love 8th MS-Team. It's probably top tier Gundam for me because it was just about a group of soldiers and their what they were going through. Yeah. And it you know, you had everyone had their own, you know, the they their their squads died. So they kind of came together and they were like a shambled put together little crew. Right. And like things happened. Like that guy who loved music, he ended up going deaf. Because mm-hmm. that, that 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 thing went off and blew out his eardrums. Yeah. So now he can never like sing or hear, hear his music ever again. Um, but he lived and he ended up helping because he did it to sacrifice because he had to aim the guns. Right. But he's like, I'll aim it for you and you just shoot. He's like, that's going to, that goes off thing because it doesn't matter. Right. You have to do this. and <laughs> See, that's what Gundam's about. It's not about, oh, there's a girl running on the bridge and her it's going everywhere. Right. Right. <laughs> and there's serious moments and there's like, yeah. And there's like uh, subtlety to it. Yeah. And there's also, yeah. So, um, the visuals of the actual uh, mobile suits are really good. The inside looks really cool. The Zaku pilot. Oh, yeah. yeah. When the power is up. up and, 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 and like when he's sitting in there and you see like the Zaku, like they're getting ready to drop. Then it's like shaking and they're in the big drop transport things. Awesome. I love right. it. It's I so love cool. it. It's so, it's so freaking cool. Um, I also liked how they kept some of the cheesiness because the Zaku is very classic. Their tanks and their ships are really wonky looking. Goofy. The, the, especially the Zeon. They, they look the, their transport ships look pregnant. <laughs> kind <laughs> like, of, right? Like, like, a, like an eight and a half month pregnant lady walking down the street. That's what's like, oh my goodness. Like it's, just right. so, it's meant to be in space, I guess. Yes. Like all their technology is meant to be like in zero G. But so when you see it like on Earth, it just looks weird. Yes, it looks super awkward. Um, but that's that's what Xeon had. 
do you have like do you touch on new types do you do any of that kind of stuff or do you just focus on soldiers battles and like don't get into that i don't i would say don't um especially if you're trying to bring in new fans new the new type thing can be a little jarring and it's a like little, like jedi so yeah kind of kind of, yeah, kind of. <laughs> and then like you said and then going with the whole fact that like explaining oh yeah when you're a new type you can connect with other new types and you can feel all their emotions and is and, this the evolution of mankind right. and does that mean that they're better than humans so right do we need all to become like new types so that we won't hurt each other because we're all we'll all feel each other so when i'm sad you can feel my sadness. my sadness so you would never want anyone else to be sad yeah because if i hurt you then it's like hurting myself yeah but Char likes hurting. Yeah, Char. Char. <laughs> he likes hurting. That's uh, why he doesn't mind doing it. R- r- oh, man. The funniest clip I ever saw of Char was I never betrayed anyone. And it's like a two minute clip of him betraying people. Here's the like thing. all the time. It, uh, watch the original Gundam series and watch Char's Counterattack. Probably the best Gundam movie. Oh, yeah. Hands Char's down, Ca- Char's Counterattack is so, so good. good. Um, I I would say my first foray into Gundam was Gundam Wing. Very actiony. Very action. Tons of action. Yeah, there's like the, the, the tragedy of war, but it's mainly action. Then I go back and watch the original. I'm like, oh, my God, this is actually. The giant robots aren't the main story. Yeah. The main story is about how awful and terrible war is. Mm-hmm. So, and then people wanting to be free, but is it worth sacrificing everything? And right. And then, because, yeah, I had this conflict with uh, with Xeon where they were like, everyone should be off the earth. We want we want the earth to be just by itself. Because, because it's like the ultimate environmentalist, too. Yes. But it's like, it's like in America, we didn't want to do what Britain told us to do, so we want to do our own thing. So we'll read the, the original design. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, exactly. And then you have people that are like, like Char, they're like, well, I'll force you. I'll make you do it. Yeah. And it's like, okay, how are you going to do that? Well, I'll just drop a freaking colony on it. Yeah, like, drop, like a comet. Basically, yeah. like a meter on the... And then cause a nuclear winter so you have to leave the Earth. Uh, now you can't stay there. Now the child's on fire. Right. <laughs> but, then, but then he would open, accept you open arms into his colony. It's so, so it's weird. weird. He's such a weirdo. I love him. Yeah. <laughs> he's so he's so complicated as a person. Like, you're nuts, man. Yeah, he's, he's out of his mind. But he, like, he, uh, I, someone had to do it. I am the chosen one. <laughs> exactly. <That's> Char. Char. <laughs> if, if Char was a, was a saying, that's exactly what it is. And then he's this new type. And he also, so it's like, it plays, everything plays into his... Like, well, I'm, I, obviously I'm the next step. Yes. In a way, uh, I think must be right. Yes, he's very much like his father in the in the Gundam uh, backstory of, like, well, I forgot what movie it was. It was the recent animated one. His father was that kind of, like, philosopher out there, kind of like, oh, we all need to go to space, and we all need to live here, and we're not meant to be on Earth, and, like, yeah. out there stuff. Uh, and the thing is, Char loves, but he loves, like, in a such a emphatic way... That it's dangerous. Yes. <laughs> so it's, it's very, it's almost like his love. You don't want Char to love you. No, you don't. You don't. Um, it's better to have Char hate you than love you because it's so weird. He'll like sacrifice you, but out of love. Right. And because <laughs> it's like all to the greater good. Yeah. All to like, yeah. And since I love you, you must honestly understand how I feel. So you, you want Never, to do this. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually making you do the ultimate love is to sacrifice right. for my, my dream. Right, exactly. Uh, if you case in point, Lala, yeah, was very sad. It was super sad, super sad. Um, because there was that, that new type connection where it was like their minds fell in love, like yes. their souls were in love. Amro and her were yeah. like became like, and that's it's another thing. It's so kind of hard to think like how you can meet someone for a second, but if you're both new types, you can connect like that. Yeah, where you guys are like, wow, we're soulmates for a thousand years, even though we just literally met each other two minutes ago. And he just threw her away because he knew it would get like it, he just threw her away like garbage. Well, because yeah, because he's like again, you he I'm a new type. You want my vision of the world, so you'll do anything for it. And then she kind of did. Yeah, she kind of liked it. You know, she's sad for Amaro and sad because they had their connection. But it's like I have to do what is best. For me. And it's just, right, and then and then also then you go back to the universe because now you're part of it. The, yeah, like yeah. you're like a Jedi. Like you yeah. become like a Jedi ghost. It's. I don't think any of that's going to be in this. No, it shouldn't be. Sorry, and we went on that weird tangent, but yes. But that's a, part of Gundam. It's part of Gundam, yes. It's a very big part of Gundam, and this looks like it's going to be just more like action-y, mm-hmm. which is fine. Yeah. And people are like, oh, the giant robots beating the crap out of each other. And it, like I said, it lo- sometimes it looks great, sometimes it looks bad. We'll see. It all. It's all about the squad. Yes. How does the squad get together? Right. Because if the characters are dumb and lame, I don't care. Yeah. You need then, to get that. You, and do, you, do you hit the stereotypes? Let's think about it. If they seem hit the stereotypes, the guy's got like the goofball. Then they have the Green Reaper guy. Everyone always dies in his squad. Then you have the uh, Joshua and how she was like trying to like, I'm a woman. I'm in the military. People put me down, but she's also big and strong. Big and so like, strong. So she like felt that, that mother role yeah. for like the squad, but yet she had to be rough and tumble. 
Um, and it's actually, it's funny. There's a lot of women in Gundam that are like that, actually. Yeah. The more rough and tumble, uh, bigger ladies. Um, and th- and that's really cool. That's one thing I, th- Gundam is very diverse also. Yeah, like, super diverse. And that's what makes it so funny because some people are like, oh, Shelby Japanese. Guys, this is so far in the future that they don't even know. Like there is, there's literally. You're Earth. You're yes, Earthling. You're Earthling. Yeah, you're Ur- you're from Earth or you're not from a country. You're just from Earth. You're Earth or you're a spacer. Yeah. That's what the two new, like, you know, you could say like divides. You were be. born on a colony. You were born on Earth. That was it. You're not like, oh, you're Japanese. You're African American. You're American. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, cause there's even a comment one guy goes like, he's like, yeah, I kind of traced my, my history back. He's like, I guess I was from Japan. Like it's kind of almost sounds like confusing, like whatever that is. Yeah. There is no national pride except for your earth federation. You're like a separatist or you're, you're part of Zeon. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Th- that's it. Like, so people, people want to get caught up in that stuff, but it's so past that. Like, yes. It's, like, right. And then also with, uh, with Zeon dropping, uh, the first colony on earth totally destroyed, like Australia, Australia is gone. Yeah. Like it's not even a place anymore. Some America got Bluey, destroyed. No. Yeah, exactly. It's so sad. Like a lot of that dropped a ride on Sydney too. Yeah. Sydney Opera House. Just totally trying, trying to, trying to play keepy uppy with the, with the colony it didn't work out too well. No, it did not. But there's so much, there's so much cool stuff. This this is giving me a uh, hardcore G Survivor yeah, vibes. Yeah, it where is. those are like um, those movies are like I have to watch them and close the windows, make sure no one knows I'm watching. Which is so bad, <laughs> but I kind of enjoy them in a crappy way. Yes, it's schlocky. Mm-hmm. I and Gundam has a lot of that. There is a lot of like silliness if you really. Why want. don't they just? They should have just done uh, uh, G Gundam and just this oh adapt my gosh. that. Uh, <laughs> riding the rockets. <laughs> the hearts and legs are out there on a rocket and it's flying in the sky. It's so stupid. Ta- okay, speaking about racism, why don't we talk about all the national Gundams and G Gundam? The better? Mexico Gundam has like a mustache and a sombrero and everything. Uh, like, guys, the Sweden or the one, was it? The windmill. Oh, windmill. Uh, one has a fish. I'm like, oh my goodness, guys. It's as goofy and silly as you of, can get. Because you can get Gundam's little weird stuff. Uh, G- oh, the American one is a football player. Yeah. With a, with a with surfboard. A, with a, and, a, and a handgun. Like, a, a, handgun. like a revolver, like a cowboy. He's a cowboy pirate in space. <laughs> he's just, he's all the stupid things you think of Americans. But, like, this is, is, is I think it's going to play it super serious. Yes. Even though some of the visuals are a little silly. Right. And, and it may be kind of interesting to see it from their side of actually seeing the Gundam. Because in all Gundam shows Gundam is the hero. Gundam is the symbol of... He straight comes out of the... He looks like Godzilla. Yeah. He turns his eyes are glowing and he just looks evil because when the, that first like real Gundam, it was a game changer. Yes. It's like everyone's running around with bolt action rifles and you have a, a mini gun. That's how the <laughs> game changer of what those... That first original Gundam was. The, the RX-07, whatever. Yeah. That was just like a badass. Very cool. But yeah. it's only one thing. Right. It can only be in one place at one time. And I think and I think it was just gonna make it scarier when they realized that he mass produced it. Yeah. Even though it's not as strong, but still. And your pilot isn't as amazing, but you have you you're on the same it's level. It's a Gundam. Now. Yeah, yeah. It's it. I you know if that line is not in the show, I'm gonna be pissed. Because with the Gundanium, the the the, the metal itself powers it. Yes. Like because the metal has energy in it, so like it doesn't need like a nuclear reactor or anything to do its business. It can just run off of its. Self. And also, its its uh, its friction is easier too. So, like mobile suits have to have like a little bit more of a give, whereas the Gundanium can just make you smooth. Like you're literally like, yeah, it's just everything. Yeah. So there's again like, uh, they're gonna dip a lot into like the technology. I think it's gonna be more like you woke up in this world and you're not gonna know everything. Yeah, and I kind of want it that. And way. I kind of want that way too, because then you as the viewer can dig deeper if you want. Right. Um, like you said, like all the backstory we talked about, you could dig deeper, um, find out like, oh yeah, there's an Australia. They took over, like, um, they landed in America and they were like, I think took over California and stuff like that. So it, little interesting things that again, in their world doesn't really mean anything because earth is just earth now. And, uh, the, 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 you can't use missiles or anything anymore. Yes. Everything has to be like line of sight. Um, yes. And that's because of the particle test. Yeah. They, uh, they put particles in the air for some kind of sp- space test. And it messed up the atmosphere or everything doesn't work. So there's no more radar. There's nothing. Everything has to be like visual. Right. So that's why they made big giant robots with axes. Yes. Because like why else would you make a machine like that? Why couldn't you just, just do a cruise missile? Yeah. Because it, it doesn't work anymore. Yeah. It just so like, everything has to be close. 
uh, not actually missiles, they have to be like rockets. Yeah. So they just shoot them and they just go and they blow up when they hit something. You really can't guide it anymore. So that's why they have the robots the way they are. And that's why they had those big space battles when they, it looks like, why is everyone missing? Because they're literally just shooting straight. Yeah. And then eyeballing it. Eyeballing it from the uh, ship. Kind of like an old pirate ship. So just kind of aim to the left. And <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Did Hopefully it hit it. Yeah. Aim at the sails. Um, so that's the so there's all that kind of stuff like where I don't want there to be too much explanation. Just kind of focus on the story of the characters and their the trauma of going to war. But the war happens to be with giant robots. Yes. But uh, yeah, some of the stuff's a little goofy, but I still uh, probably maybe still watch it. I'll still watch it, yeah. Crimson's in here. Thanks for watching the video. Remember, liking, subscribing, sharing, and commenting on the video really helps out a lot. It gets the video spread around more, more people get to see the videos, and we get to make more videos for you guys. So thank you, and we appreciate every single one of you guys.